from my kitchen to your kitchen. Thank you so much for the support on getting all your Soledad kits from the restaurant this past few weeks. Loved watching every one of you posting pictures about your Soledad tacos, your Don Dario's, and all the fun things that we've been doing uh, while we can get a haircut, which I need one very bad, and one day I look forward to having my haircut. But today, you asked for shrimp tacos. So we made you shrimp tacos in the style of fajitas. And now, I'm gonna guide you through how I'm gonna cook them in my house so you can cook them in your house. And this shrimp has been marinated with cilantro, mint, oregano, and a whole lot of don't worry about it. But if you are worried about it, you can look up the ingredient list on your kit because if we don't tell you what's in it and you have allergies, that, root, that is very rude of us. Or we're not rude people. Um, size might be the same as the fileo, as the beans, it might not. Uh, we'll figure that out. But we know the shrimp will definitely be there and it will definitely be marinated and the uh, oregano cilantro and a whole lot of don't worry about it. So the first step for this is going to be getting you a world-class award-winning made-in non-steak saute pan. If for some reason you can't get an award-winning saute pan, um, you can get any non-stick would work. My weapon of choice is made in. Um, we're gonna get it on medium heat. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan and wait for that to heat up. That was probably about a tablespoon of oil. I've been cooking tablespoons in years, but apparently everybody at home cooks with tablespoons and cups and all that. So I'm freaking it out with you. Oh, hey, what's up? The pan is now medium heat. Remember, it is a non-stick pan. The reason why I always choose non-stick when people are cooking seafood at home is because it's way, way easier to not mess it up. You can do this in a cast iron, you can do it in a regular saute pan, but it's gonna be way harder for the fish to come a nice eat. If you do it in a non-stick, you're gonna win 10 times out of 10. We'll do all the work, you'll take all the credit, and it works for me. So now I'm gonna dump. So now that our shrimp is cooking, we wanna make sure we put it in one layer. And just let all the flavors come together, hang out with each other. Shrimp, uh, I don't think the, the CDC said that shrimp needs to social distance. So we'll make sure they either are together, hanging out with each other. Uh, when they start to curl up, that means you're almost ready. You wanna make sure your pan is still hot. So at this point, I think it would be a great call if you added a little bit of salt. The shrimp, we haven't salted. The marinade, we definitely put salt in there. Uh, but, you know, salt always brings out the flavor on all the delicious things that you're cooking. And it'll just bring it all together. We're almost ready. And see, look at this beautiful. Look at, this. nothing is sticking. Hence the name non-stick. Maiden coming through. See now how the shrimp, it's curling up. We're ready. So you know, I love shrimp. I've loved shrimp since I was a, a sweet little baby for me. Uh, just the flavor of it and this marinade. Uh, I've been doing it with seafood for, for a lot of years. Um, just the mint, oregano, and cilantro play really well with each other. Uh, and it's always fun and easy to just make it home and take the credit so that I did all the work but you're cooking it at home. So that is always primo. Uh, right now I'm going to start heating up some tortillas so we can start assembling our tacos. And again, I'm doing this once. Today I'm doing them in another maiden uh, non-stick pan. You can do them in a comal like we did in the other video. Um, like most of you have been doing it in a, in a cast iron, which is great. Um, today I'm doing it in a non-stick pan. Tomorrow, I don't know. Oh, you know, just some cabbage and a bowl. This is a pretty standard cabbage uh, from pine to bowl method, as uh, the great chefs of the world have done it in the past. Uh, cut some limes and 
little, you know, kind of triangles. Heating up some tortillas. Somewhere here, I'll probably burn those, but I'll try really hard not to. Um, now, I think we just put the shrimp in the bowl. Yeah, just very similar to the putting the, the cabbage in a bowl. Uh, you want to do this with the avocado. Very straightforward. And, and uh, Richard, do you know what a taco's favorite uh, dance is? No. You don't know? No. You never heard that one before? No. It's salsa. There's some salsa right here. Put in a little ramekin. That one's definitely too small. You'll probably get a bigger one. <laughs> definitely need a gold spoon for this. And then you drop it. Now we make some tacos! So now we're making some tacos. You don't want to make too many tacos in advance because then the tortillas will get cold. This is how I'm going to make my tacos, so definitely you should, of course, make them like that. If you don't, you will fail this test. A little bit of avocado crudo action, just some avocados, uh, lime juice, some onions, and some uh, avocado oil, and some of your shrimp that is cooked to perfection. Maybe the shrimp taco needs a little bit more shrimp. How about that, huh? Then uh, a little bit of cabbage. Cabbage is always one. You know, because it kind of soaks up all the sauces that are in there. And it makes the taco look bigger. But it makes you feel good if you're eating cabbage. And then some of the salsa. The salsa we made with uh, some of the local ingredients that are happening right now. Because, you know, spring is not taking a break. Spring is still canceled. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not canceled. Spring is definitely not canceled. So here we have some spring onions, uh, some tomatillos, some green garlic, and a little bit of dried red peppers. Ooh. A little bit of lime, put the lime in the shrimp taco, and the coconut, you stir it all around. And now we eat some shrimp tacos, huh? Just like in the movies, yum yum.